Harry was stiff for being guessed at the dirty desire he had hidden for so long. Okay, I admit. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. After all the scandals that Harry caused for the monarchy, royal fans are questioning why exactly this petulant brat is always wanting to mess around. What is it he's really after? Well, it seems like Harry wants what his brother by birth was destined to oversee and eventually rule over. More so items of monetary value, though, like jewels and homes and land. He doesn't care so much for the management or working, and that's clear thanks to his lack of application at school, where he really could have learned the responsibility and what all it entailed. But no, Harry was there to have a good time. He was not there to actually get a lot out of it. Harry was born the second son, and according to him, he should be equal in every way to his older brother. And there's no logical reason as a child from the same marriage why he shouldn't get, say, 50% of the Duchy of Cornwall, for example. Why he shouldn't have access to palaces and castles and jewels just like William. Why he shouldn't have access to politicians and also get to enjoy the same status and respect as William. Any inheritance money from dead parents, from grandparents, or great-grandparents, he thinks should be exactly the same for him and his older brother, William. But the fact is, William has worked his butt off for the past 25 years to have a good education, to understand the family business, and how he can improve yield and bottom lines. William cares about improving farming practices so that they can be more environmentally friendly. He wants to improve education and health care for everybody. He wants to learn about what the responsibility of the monarchy is all about, the Commonwealth, and the royal family's obligation in every single way. But Harry's not had any desire to learn about any of this stuff. And I'm not surprised that he sees William as his arch nemesis. Now, William has seen to it that he can care for and be responsible for his wife and his family within the ring fence businesses and the family that he was born into. But Harry is almost 40 years old now, and he has finally realized that he has limited options and he's going to always have to rely on other people to help him get money. And the people he's relying on are the companies like Netflix and Apple and Spotify. That is not a stable way to earn a living, especially considering that their lifestyle is outrageous. It would be interesting to have a good look at the details of Harry and Meghan's half-in, half-out royals plan as they presented back in 2020. I do wonder if this is ever going to come out, if it will ever be made public knowledge. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what Harry's wanting, whether it be money, to be taken seriously, to feel like he's a part of the royal family, apologies, whatever. Harry has to understand that any conversation that he has with his family is going to be just lip service and it won't be interesting to anybody. And I have thought about how I would feel if somebody in my family wrote a book about something that had been said or done in private in the past and I forgave them. I know if that happened to me, I would be watching my words, whatever my views were. I would be watching what I was doing, no matter how innocent it was, because conversation can always be spun or understood incorrectly in future dealings. And Harry is always going to feel like a pariah now, especially if he divorces Meghan, or if she's no longer in his life for whatever reason. And we know a divorce would help Meghan out financially because she would do interviews and make a lot of money out of them. She would come out of it a lot better than Harry as far as finances go. I don't think Harry has considered that. And Meghan is the only bridge at the moment that Harry has not burned in his personal life. But, of course, that could always change. It's important to never put all of your eggs in one basket or in one relationship. Because if that relationship falls apart, everything's going to come crashing down. I guess Meghan really thought that she was going to be able to modernize the monarchy by thinking that William and Harry could just split everything down the middle, all the money, all the land, etc. I think that she thought it was like, I don't know, the voice type of show or something, a popularity contest, whereby the most popular couple gets to take the crown and they get to rule the kingdom. And then when she realized that the monarchy does not work like that, she had a huge fit like a toddler, and it was fueled by Harry's feelings of resentment and jealousy. You've only got to take one look at the woman to see how she is so jealous of Catherine, William, and their family of beautiful children. 
See, Megan can never hope to get close to the empathy, the kindness, and the beautiful soul that really is Catherine. She also can't hope to emulate the clear love and the soulmate connection that William and Catherine enjoy, which shows in the beautiful dispositions of their close friends and their family, too. If she wanted to, Megan really could have been a woman of substance. But now, she's probably just a woman of substance abuse. She's bitter, she's twisted, and she uses jealousy and spite as her currency. That comment on William's hair loss is not coming from Harry. That is coming straight from Meghan Markle because he rejected her. I just wish they could find contentment in their lovely L.A. lifestyle without feeling like they have to destroy the royal family, especially William and Catherine. Megan's got Harry doing whatever she tells him to, even if he doesn't understand why. One spectator weighed in, saying, I suspect that he doesn't really know because any advisors he once may have had have hightailed it, leaving a vacancy that has been filled by his ruefully ill-qualified wife, who is perhaps the only woman to turn a prince into a frog. The spectator continued, saying, however, this is all really academic because now the substandard breast implant, i.e. useless tit, has put the lives of ordinary folk in danger because of his claims to have killed terrorists while on active service, regardless of the special forces who had to babysit him while simultaneously guarding him against actual terrorists. Thus, I simply cannot bring myself to mention his name, nor that of his manipulative wife or those whom he has royally, oh the irony, pissed off. Like any petulant child, I shall ignore him and her. However, I eagerly await claims of him saving the earth from aliens, they certainly wouldn't abduct him, the night he was visited by the ghost of Elvis, or his claims to have discovered the Ark of the Covenant. I do know that when he was in a carefully scheduled and managed environment, he thrived, or seemed to. I often wonder is he, if he is on the autism spectrum, as he seems quite impulsive and rash to the point of insanity, i.e. the killing tally claim. His wife is not qualified to guide him, as she is driven by things he simply cannot understand, fame and money. This ends one way badly. And then another person commented, I believe that Harry is probably with help from his wife, feeling the hole in his life from his mother's absence in a fresh, raw way. It's obvious he just hasn't gotten to a place where he can proceed with his life with predominantly good memories and love for her. I think he got here because until Megan showed up, he was in the loving cocoon of his family, with Granny the Queen included. They buffered much royal family of the pain and encouraged him onward in his life. And here comes the prize, an American actress, bright, glitzy, something totally new. Unfortunately, he got quite a bit more than he bargained for. She began to give him a different narrative and then took him away from his family. Now she starts brainwashing him, pointing out ways the royal family mistreated him because look how they've mistreated me. And if it weren't for them, your precious mama would still be alive. Even copy some of his mama's habits. He thinks Nirvana has been found, and look how the firm kept me from it. So now he starts publicly telling his story, and the spider keeps the web nice-looking all the while fattening him up. I truly believe Harry thinks he is somehow helping his family by all he has said and done. This commenter concluded, saying Spider probably put that thought there. But no one in their right mind thinks the occupants of the castle will appreciate the one who blows them to smithereens so they can make their escape. You just don't accuse folks of what they have and then immediately say that yes, you'd like them back in your life. And what about you? What do you think of Sussex's devil desire when they deliberately poke fun at the British monarchy? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found our video helpful. And don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.